We read in Psalm 34, verse 3, O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. What does it mean to magnify the Lord? How does a child of God magnify the Lord? This verse is referring to the super magnificence of God. We cannot begin to comprehend the magnificent glory of God. His glory is beyond our comprehension or imagination. To magnify means to make something greater or more important. It means to hold something in the highest esteem. We are to hold up God in the highest esteem possible. There is no one greater or more important than God. We may hold certain people in high esteem, but there is absolutely no comparison with how we are to uphold God in our thinking. The magnificence of God is far beyond anything in this world. Man's mind is filled with so much garbage that we cannot see the glory of God, even though it is all around us. We can see it in beautiful sunsets, magnificent mountains, millions of stars in the sky. The highest power telescope is able to put the universe on display. Man is able to take impressive pictures of outer space. These all display the glory of God. But this is only scratching the surface. All these glorious things are just a tiny demonstration of God's glory, as God has brought not only this world, but all the worlds in the universe into existence throughout time and beyond time. God's glory is infinite and goes way past anything we can see or write about. The real glory is seen in his actions as he cares for this world. In spite of all the dirt, all the sin, all the corruption, it is still a glorious world because of God's care. We recognize God's magnificence in all the events he has brought into play in ruling over this sin-cursed world as he developed his salvation program. When we see this sinful world, we are totally amazed at how this will end up. God speaks of a new heaven and a new earth that will serve him forevermore. We don't have any details about this new world. Only God knows the details, but we know it will come into being. It is beyond our imagination to understand how glorious God is. He is so magnificent that we should stand in awe of his glory. Unfortunately, we must be reminded to stand in awe of his glory because man by nature does not have that awe at all. We think that somehow we are the greatest. We read in Psalm 70 verse 4, Let all those that seek thee rejoice and be glad in thee. And let such as love thy salvation say continually, Let God be magnified. This should be the constant attitude and theme of the child of God. Let God be magnified. To God be all the glory at all times. 
mankind cannot take any credit for this happiness or for his success or for his intelligence. Above all, he cannot take any credit for his salvation. All the praise and glory goes to God alone. Our God is a magnificent God. He is the creator of this incredible universe. He created man in his image, and we cannot even understand what that means. He has a perfect plan for this world, which will come into fruition in spite of the sin of man. He has a perfect salvation program, and every one of his chosen elect will be brought into his kingdom. Let us magnify the Lord. Let us praise him with all our whole heart and recognize his great magnificence.